All right, you two. EDJ Brandon. Um, today we're gonna do a uh, a maintenance deal on this, and it's a Elation Design Spot 250. It's not a Martin. Um, don't want to spend extra money on Martin. Plus, I got two of these for 400 bucks. So, uh, if you look at some of my videos from a while back, you'll see the repairs I did on them. But they're worth it, man. Totally worth it. Design spots are awesome. All right, too. What you're looking at is focus lenses um, that comes out of the uh, design spot. So the one on the right, as you can see, it's a little brownish. One on the left, it's clear. It's the new one. Um, periodically, uh, these will need to be changed over life. Uh, like once again, I bought two of these design spots for 400 bucks. It was a store sample and guitar center. So unfortunately, um, they uh, needed to be uh, replaced because uh, the misuse they had them in the store. Because trust me, I spent about maybe about 350 bucks fixing them, but it, it makes a huge difference. This is going to make it look brand spanking new, like my other two design spots that are brand new. So I got four, a total of four of these lights. But uh, again, that's the one on the right. That's the old one. This is the new one, and I'll show you how to change these. All right now we're back at the design spot. So what we're going to do is take this cover and that top other cover off. So we're gonna take the two side covers off so we can get to it. All right guys, got the design spot taken apart a little bit, just the covers off. Basically what I'm gonna show you is that this is the uh, focus lens um, right here. And it's the sensor right here. It goes all the way to the little circuit board and it will stop. That's how it resets itself. So it goes up and down to focus so we the gobos or whatever your spot is will be focused. Okay. Um, this happens with a lot of different light fixtures. You have to replace these focus lenses. So if you have a moving head or any scanners that has motorized focus and it's out of focus all the time, and it, but you wonder why the colors are off a little bit, you think you're just going to wipe the lens off? I don't think so. Um, you gotta replace the focus lens. There's like a piece of gel on it in between the glass of the lens. So it's like two glasses put together. I'm gonna show that to you. As you can see here, you got two pieces of glass. You got one lens on the bottom, one lens on the top, and between there's a gel on the inside. That gel is what turn, turn colors over time. So you can kind of see that this is the bad one once again. Can't really tell because it's on camera, but they do fade trust me there it is you can see the little ring around the around the that's the gel in there okay there's the new one you can't really see it anymore because this is the brand new one see that's the bad one you can see the ring and it's really brown on the inside trust me because you can't really tell on the camera there's the new one back to the old one now, in order to get this off, what we got to do is take uh, these three screws off of here. This whole bracket holds that lens on there. And then we unscrew those lenses out. Okay. I'll show you what it looks like in a close up shot. So again, these are the, uh, this is the focus lens right there. That's the focus lens. Take these three screws off to get this whole bracket out. Okay? That's the angle lens, like 20 degree angle lens. It's a nice fat circle on the dance floor. I would recommend picking up one of these really small screwdrivers that you uh, will get out. This particular one came from Home Depot. It's like seven or eight bucks. It's a Husky, because of different sizes. So I recommend using something this small for a light fixture like this, where you're taking up really small screws. All right, got the focus lens out. As you can see. Okay. Now, once again, the reason I got the other one is dirty because it came out of another light fixture. So we're gonna take this one out because this is the only light fixture left that looks like the color is off a little bit, and this is what fixed the problem. Oh wow, you can see the burnt mark on it still. See that I've cleaned and cleaned that lens, thinking it was gonna work, but not exactly. 
See, that one's burnt on the inside, as you can see. It's that gel in there. Once again, that's the new one. It's the old one. Now, what we got to do is take these four screws off. Okay? Take those four screws off. This You'll be able to put the new lens on. Take the old one, take the old one out. Okay. Well, there's been all kind of debris on that paper. A lot of burnish and stuff. But, uh, here we go. Alright y'all, we got the uh, bracket freed. Unfortunately, one of the screws broke from old age. You can see there on the tip of my finger, the broken screw there. So, sorry about the focus. But, uh, other than that, the three of the screws made it out okay. One of the screws didn't. For some reason, this this light only this lens only have four screws. The other one only had three, so no big deal. Don't have the other screw lying around, but let's go ahead and put the new one on there. Here we go. Got the lenses, I got the new lens mounted in there. Got to clean it up and then um, we'll put it back in the light fixture. So these lights could be like brand spanking new. Like brand spanking new. Alright guys, uh, we got it all finished up, it's all mounted in there, the new lens is in, and this magnet, once again, it goes up to that sensor, it'll start and it resets itself, and we're set to go, dude, um, so it's all good. So it's all good, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching my video, and um, y'all see future clips of you know, the new light show that I'm creating and stuff. So, uh, put your comments below and y'all you know, practice and enjoy. Thank you.